In this video I will show you how you can install Chrome OS on a USB drive with full Google Play support. And this will not be a live USB drive meant primarily for testing, this will be a full installation on a USB drive. And that means that all changes that you are doing inside the OS will persist. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find everything about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the necessary links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. In previous videos I also installed different Linux distributions on a USB drive like Ubuntu, Manjaro, Linux Mint, Kali Linux and DevOS and PopOS. If you are interested how to install full Linux Mint on a USB drive then you can find the video link up there or down in the description. Installing Chrome OS is a bit different than installing other Linux distributions. We will need to use a framework called Branch. This is the Branch GitHub repository and this framework it creates a generic Chrome OS image from an official recovery image. And down here it says this is not the intended way for Chrome OS to work and that you should use it at your own risk if Chrome OS at some point becomes incompatible with Branch. But currently everything looks fine so let's try it out. If you scroll down here we will try to install with Windows. And now here you can choose what you want to do. You can install it on a USB drive, you can install it as a single boot or as a dual boot. We want to install it on a USB drive. Here we can see the requirements and the interesting one is that we need WSL. In this video I will assume that you already have WSL running on your system, but in case you don't, you can find the link to the official installation instructions down in the description. The first thing we need to do, we need to download the official Chrome OS recovery image. In this video I will use this one for Intel. If you are instead using AMD then you should use this one because the other ones will not work and also with this one I had problems with the first boot and Google Play Store was not working. But maybe it will work on your side if you are using AMD. So let's go with this one, Remus. We want the recovery image, go to the link and now search for Remus and just go with the latest version. Now let it download. Download complete, we can close this. Then we need the latest branch release, this one. Wait for the download. Download complete. Now let's go back. Here are the two files that we downloaded and I will open the WSL console in this directory. First I open PowerShell and then I will just run WSL here. Alright, now I will dock this to the right and this to the left. Now let's copy this command and run it inside WSL. This will install some additional dependencies. Then we need to extract the branch file with this command here. So let's write tar txvf and the branch file. Execute. Finished and now we need to unzip the recovery image. So unzip and the downloaded recovery image. Enter. Alright and now we need to create the generic Chrome OS image. So copy this command, paste it here and instead of Chrome OS file name we want the unzipped binary, this one, and run. This command will now create the final Chrome OS image. This took a bit longer but it's finally done, so press enter. And now it says Chrome OS image has been successfully created. And now we can flash this image on a USB drive using Rufus. So let's open Rufus. This is Rufus, this is the official website and I use this tool in every Linux installation video so far. So if you are following me then you already know how this one works. Scroll down, go to the link, download complete, open Rufus. This is Rufus, now plug in the USB drive where you want to install Chrome OS on. I will do this as well. Rufus should automatically detect the drive and now select the image. This is the one that we've created, so select it, open and start. Now it warns us that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted. So if you have anything important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue with OK. And let's wait. Finished, we can close this now. Now we have a bootable USB drive with Chrome OS on it and now we need to boot into it. I will assume that you already know how to boot from a USB drive. You plug in the USB drive, then you restart the system and then while it is restarting you press one of the function keys. Usually it's F11 or F12, it depends on your PC manufacturer. Then you should get the boot menu and inside select the USB drive with Chrome OS and it should boot into it. I will do this on my system as well and I'll see you there. Here we are at the boot menu and I need to record this with my phone because I cannot capture the video output while Chrome OS is installing. 
I'm basically recording the laptop screen and that's why the quality isn't the best, but it should do. So here in the boot menu you need to select your USB device with Chrome OS and enter. Now the branch framework is loading for the first time and it will try to set up everything for you. This will take a few minutes, but it's only on the first boot, so be patient. And finally, welcome to Chromebook. If you get this screen, then everything is fine. Just follow the steps and set up your Chromebook. So let's go get started and accept the terms. I want to set up this for myself. Next. Now log in with your Gmail account. Sync your Chromebook. Accept. Accept Google Play terms. I don't need Google Assistant. Hey Google. No thanks. And I want dark theme. And you are all set. All right. And we are logged in inside Chrome OS. And this is now running from the USB drive. And you can use this one as a normal system. Everything you do inside the OS will be saved to the USB drive. But before we use it, there is one little thing that we need to do first. Let's click this away and press Ctrl, Alt and F2. Now you will get this prompt and here we need to log in as the root user. So write root. And now we need to execute resize data and enter. This will now expand the partition on the USB drive to the full size of the USB drive. Finished. Now press enter. And now it should reboot automatically. This is now the second boot, loading branch again. This should be now much faster. And now at the login screen, just wait a minute or two, because I found out that if you log in too quickly, Google Play will not work. And this is just a simple workaround to give Chrome OS time to start all the services. It is how it is. After a minute or two, just log in. Chrome OS desktop again. And now let's try Google Play. And yes, Google Play is working, so you can download all your favorite apps here, as you would do on your phone. So let's try one out. I'll search for Snappy Mouse Run. Here it is. And this is a game that I made a few years ago for Google Play and App Store. So if you're interested, the link to the game is up there or down in the description. So let's try to install that one and run. All right, and play. And yes, it is working. Let's try to play it. On my phone, I need to swipe left and right, but here I need to drag my mouse around. It is a bit harder. But everything seems to work. And game over. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then give a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It means a lot to me, it makes the channel grow. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.